Hi guys, welcome back to Cook and Fry. Thank you very much for watching this video. Um, today I want to share with you an amazing recipe on how to do fake scallops. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Um, it's totally free and uh, remember to keep the notifications on. Alright, so what we need for the recipe is uh, vegetable stock. If you want my recipe on how to do vegetable stock, check out my YouTube channel. Then we'll need uh, chopped shallots, uh, meat leaves, fresh thyme, spring onions, uh, plant-based butter, olive oil and I'm going to use some truffle oil as well and I'm going to make green pea puree why do we choose this mushroom is because of the shape first of all and the texture is very similar to what the uh, scallop tastes so what we're going to do first is our puree because this what takes uh, longer um, when it comes to the mushrooms it's going to take like a couple of, uh, it's going to take only a couple of minutes put a bit of butter on, on the pan for the green peas about this much why do we need butter for our puree? Because it makes it more creamy. You could also use olive oil, but I prefer to eat my puree with butter. Once the butter is hot, um, what I'm gonna do next is add uh, my shallot, chopped shallot. If you don't have shallot or if you don't find any shallot, um, you can use red onions. It's almost the same flavor, but I prefer shallots. And now it's time to add the green peas. So uh, remember to cook your green peas on low heat, otherwise they will start popping like popcorns. Um, and now I'm gonna add a few leaves of basil and mint leaves. It will give a lot of uh, freshness to the recipe. I'm gonna add as well a bit of thyme. Um, now most of the butter is consumed um, by the green peas. And I'm going to add some of the fresh vegetable stock with a little bit of use of it before we blend it. The green peas are almost ready. I think they are ready. I'm going to pass it to the blender. Okay, my blender is quite old so it took like 5 minutes to blend it. But if you have a good blender, uh, it should take you like 1 or 2 minutes. And uh, it depends on how smooth you want it. I like it very smooth. And um, that's why it took me a bit longer. But now it's ready. What I'm gonna do now is pass it through a tray um, strainer. Passing it through a strainer, um, you will notice that the, some of the mints didn't get, that some of the mint leaves didn't blend very well. And uh, that's the purpose of passing, passing the puree through the strainer uh, so get rid of all those infections. Hey, okay, so I'm just gonna keep the, the puree on the side. What I'm gonna do now is add some more butter to my hand. Um, because it's time to prepare the scallops. What we're gonna do with the mushrooms is we're gonna try to give the shape of the scallop, which is by slicing them um, maybe one or two centimeters thick, like that. You can see it. And, uh, and then we're gonna pan fry them and we're gonna serve it with our puree. I am done uh, shaking the, um, the king oyster mushroom. And what I'm going to do now is slice a little bit of the top of the scallops. It's a bit hard to show you what I've done. Uh, but you're going to see at the, end of the, at the end of the recipe, it's kind of a hash on top of the, the king oyster mushroom. That's going to give you the nice little bit of pineapple. Like, what I'm going to do now is add thyme to the butter. And you're going to need a lot of butter because um, the mushrooms absorb a lot of liquids when you're cooking them. Um, so if you want, you can use half and half, like half butter and half olive oil. So I added the butter and some thyme, but I like a lot of thyme on, on this recipe. Um, and you can add uh, some fresh rosemary as well. And I have the spring onions as well. We're gonna cook it at the same time with the king oyster mushroom. And we're gonna use it for decoration as well. So don't get rid of it. Try to cook the mushrooms on medium heat, otherwise you're gonna burn. And um, you will need as well some of the vegetable stock because these mushrooms we will um, absorb a lot of liquid and you don't want to use only butter or oil. Alright, so after a couple of minutes you have to turn the scallops upside down. Once you turn the mushrooms, um, it's now time to remove our spring onions. I'm going to add some more of the vegetable stock. You do want them to absorb a lot of liquid because it will give them a lot of tenderness and that's what we're looking for. Now is the time to grate. And what we're gonna do is put some of your puree around the plate. 
I know my camera is not high definition, so I hope you can really get an idea of what I'm doing here. Alright, I placed some of the spring onions around the plate, and now I'm placing some um, olive oil pearls. And now remember we used uh, fresh mint leaves, so the rest of the fresh mint leaves, I'm using them as well to decorate the plate, and some other uh, micro -breeds. Okay, and the last touch we're adding to our plate is a few drops of truffle oil. Okay, so now we're done. Um, I think it looks amazing. I promise you, you're gonna see the difference on the top of the scallops on the picture because uh, I know on the video it's quite hard to notice. Um, but I find it beautiful and I hope you do as well. And uh, now it's time to taste it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, again, please subscribe and don't forget to keep the notifications on so you can be notified when I post another video. And follow me on Instagram or uh, on Facebook. You can find me as Cookify. And I really hope you like the recipe. I really hope you, you try it at home. And if you have any questions, just let me know um, here, down here in the comments and I will reply as soon as possible. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.